Puyallup. I'm your state representative, Hans Zeiger, and I'm here today at the Sounder Station in downtown Puyallup, where the Sounder train's arriving and people are about to head off to work for the morning. People in the 25th District are hardworking, and they believe that you got to go out and earn your living and make a paycheck, and they come back here and contribute a lot to the community. Today we're going to go on a tour of the 25th District. We're going to go out and see some sights and learn more about the history and the meaning of the people here in the 25th District. Let's go. Now across our community, thousands of kids are heading out to school. We're here at Meeker Elementary School in the Puyallup School District where my great-grandmother started teaching back in the 1950s after a long career teaching in other places. This is a place that's special to me. My dad started kindergarten here in my great-grandmother's class. And this area has a tremendous value for education. The third governor of our state was a guy named John Rogers who was the author in the legislature of the Barefoot Schoolboy Act of 1893 which says that every school kid in the state of Washington is entitled to a basic education. That's six dollars at that time per kid per year. It's a little bit more now. But we believe in basic education in this state. We believe that it's the paramount duty of the state to provide an education for its kids. So what goes on here at Meeker Elementary and in schools across the district today is critically important to our state's future. I'm here at Anthem Coffee in Puyallup, the heart of Puyallup getting some coffee, which is what I often do in meeting with constituents. Folks like to come here and see their neighbors. You see business people here, you see students, you see all kinds of people from the community talking about what's going on. Here we are at Pioneer Park, the heart of Puyallup. Whenever I have coffee with people from out of town at Central Perk or Anthem, they comment about how wonderful this central area of town is. And this is really where Puyallup started. Back in the 1860s, Ezra Meeker settled here in a little cabin right in the place where this pergola is today. And a statue was put up in 1926 when Ezra was late in his life. And there's a great picture of everybody in town showing up for the dedication of that statue because Ezra really had built that town over a long period of time, over his long life. He lived to be almost 98 years old. This community is an incredible place. Ezra Meeker named it Puyallup, which means the generous people, the Native Americans who were here and lived along the river, fished the river for many centuries, valued this place and believed uh, themselves and the people around them believed them to be a generous people. And so we celebrate those values today. We try to live up to our name. Ezra Meeker had a real vision for this community and that's really embodied in the design of this downtown area. Around us we have the post office, the senior center, some restaurants, we've got the library, We've got the pavilion where there's a number of weddings and cultural events, Memorial Day and Veterans Day observances. We have the city hall. We've got a variety of businesses. So this really is a town square. It's the place where people come to gather. Concerts in the park in the summer from April through October. Farmers markets, which are really a great gathering time for people to come together, engage in commerce and conversation, and really celebrate the values that make us who we are. Here we are in our district office here at Maine and Meridian in downtown Puyallup. Feel free to drop by anytime if you have concerns that you want to talk about, if I just want to say hi. We're here five days a week when the legislative session is not going on and hope to see you here sometime. We're here at the location of John Carson's Ferry which was put up in the 1850s in anticipation of the population growth that would occur in this area. And indeed, the area has really grown. Now you'd have a bridge here, but that was built in 1925 and it's time to replace it. A lot of people would like to get that replaced. 17,000 cars go over this bridge a day. And this is the gateway to a lot of economic activity. The plan is to get this replaced by the end of 2015. Weight restrictions were placed on the bridge a few years ago and those were revised down and so that could be a challenge in the meantime while we're waiting for the bridge to be replaced. But this is a key linkage to 167, to Fife, to 161 going up into Edgewood and Milton and on up to Federal Way. So this is the Puyallup River Meridian Bridge.
We're across the river at the future home of Brookville Gardens Park. This year we put in a million dollar request into the capital budget to help make this into a park. Fife is a community that has a real vision for the future. It's a combination of residential and commercial and industrial and agricultural. Its agricultural roots are deep and it's a community that has a lot of pride. And here at Brookville Gardens Park, we're reminded of the kind of cultural traditions and the recreational opportunities that people here in Fife treasure. And so if we can get that money out of the capital budget, it'll provide all kinds of opportunities for people in Fife to come together and be right here in the middle of an industrial area. We've got the FedEx plant next door. We've got Mission Foods across the street. It's a growing area, and it's really on the cusp of the world. You look at the Port of Tacoma right next door to Fife, and there's all kinds of opportunities here. Here at Pierce College Puyallup, which is a growing campus with thousands of students from East Pierce County. I'm a big believer in the community college system and I sit on the House Higher Education Committee where I'm the assistant ranking member. I think that higher education is really the key to our state's economic future. We've got to make that investment. We're in an era of skyrocketing tuition and we've got to do what we can as a legislature to make sure that we prevent future tuition increases. Pierce College is doing a great job of adapting to the local economy making sure that it's training young people to go out into the jobs of the future, but also making itself available for adults coming back into higher education, making sure that it's a pipeline to a four-year degree for those who choose to do that. So it's a flexible institution, it's adaptable to the needs of our local community, and it's a great way for people in our community to get the education that they need. Here at Thun Field on South Hill, we're reminded of the growth of South Hill as well as the economic importance of aerospace in our local economy. Out in Fredrickson, not too far from South Hill, is a Boeing plant, and there's a Torrey Composites facility, the Pierce County Skills Center where people can go to start to learn aviation trades. Also here on the edge of Thun Field is Clover Park Technical College Aviation Center where students can come and learn all about aviation and careers in that field. So that's so important to our local economy. South Hill has really grown over the last 40 years. It used to be a very rural area. My dad grew up here on South Hill. Meridian is a sign of all that growth. I think there was a bumper sticker at one time that said, pray for me, I drive Meridian. And one of the things that I hear about most from constituents here on South Hill is the traffic congestion. So that's a very serious issue and we're doing what we can in the legislature to mitigate that, make sure that resources are directed here to relieve congestion on South Hill. Finishing the cross base highway, widening Meridian, whatever it takes. Many housing developments on South Hill, many schools, many different activities for families. It's a great place to live and raise a family and work and it's just a great community, great spirit here. We have Rogers High School, Emerald Ridge High School, YMCA, Pierce College, so many great institutions that define South Hill. So it's an honor to represent South Hill in the legislature. We're here at the Summit Library. From Puyallup and South Hill, the 25th District runs on out to Summit, Waller, Midland, and Parkland. We're here in a part of Pierce County known as the Rural Separator. It's an area of mostly rural farms and large acreages between Puyallup and Tacoma. Very nice area, a lot of independent folks out here. It's an old community with a lot of traditions and people who know each other. Over here in the Mid-County area, we're in the Franklin Pierce School District. It's one of the lowest income school districts in Pierce County, but the values of the people in this area are strong. It's also a very diverse area that we're in and has been increasing in diversity in recent years, and that's the kind of welcoming nature, I think, that our community has. Well, we finish where we started, here at the Sounder Station in downtown Puyallup as people are coming home from work. But there's still lots to do tonight as people head off to band concerts, little league games, church Bible studies, or talk to a neighbor over the fence. Our community is strong and capable of doing great things together. Whether we're young or old, rich or poor, each of us has an important part to play in this thing we call our community. As we work together for the good of Puyallup, Fife, South Hill, Summit, Waller, Midland, and Parkland. Consider me a partner. I hope you'll call on me if I can be helpful in some way. Thanks for what you do to make our community great.
keep in touch.